Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to create a moving background for my car. Now I created this car. It's a little uh, movie clip symbol of a car. And I created this in a previous video. So now I want to put a background on this particular item. So my car is already on my main scene. I'll simply call this a moving car. And I'm going to kind of ignore it for a second. And I want to create some elements in the background. The first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and insert a new symbol and I'm going to create pretty much a static background. I'll call it background and I'll make it a graphic symbol. And my static background is going to be made up of some sky and some land. And for the sky I'll simply use a rectangle. I don't need a stroke on there. Make sure I choose no stroke. And I'll choose that light blue fill that I've currently have active. And I'll just go ahead and draw a rectangle. The lower part is going to be, let's say, road or something like that. So I'll still use a rectangle. And for this other fill color, I'll use a, a dark gray. And I'm going to draw this new rectangle down here at the bottom. And I'm also going to make a, a dotted line, a dashed line. So I'll use a line tool for that. And I'll get a uh, yellow color. I don't need a fill. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line. I'd like it to be a little thicker, so I'll use my selection tool to select that line. And I'll change the thickness. Once I've got that, I'll use my eraser tool. There it is. And I'm going to erase lines. And maybe just every so, or let me make this get a bigger point. and I'll just take a few lines out. Excellent. So now I've got that taken care of and that's going to be my background. If I go back to my scene and create a new layer called background, I can go to this, go to my library. My library is down here in the lower right. There's my background. I can simply drag it to the top of my stage and just so we can really see this, let me uh, I'm going to zoom out for a bit so there's 50% use my free transform tool. I'll position that up there. And when I go in size, I see it does it uniformly. So um, I will hold down my Alt key while I click and drag so I can just change one size or one side at a time. So now my background's on top of my moving car. I move my moving car on top of my background and there we go. Move the back, uh, move the car more on the road so it's a little bit more realistic because clearly I'm going for reality here. And that takes care of that. So now the car is on a road. Now it doesn't look like it's really moving because those lines aren't moving. So I think what I'll do instead is take the lines off of the static background and see if I can't just have lines moving across. That might be kind of interesting. So let me go and close this. And in order to edit an existing symbol, a couple ways, you could certainly go to your library, or I can go right to my background layer, just double click, and I can edit it in here. So this time what I'll do is I'll just take another rectangle and I'll cover up my lines. So let me control Z, I don't want to outline on that, I just want to fill. There we go. So that's been modified. My lines are no longer on my background. If I go back to scene one, they're no longer there. So I'm going to insert a new symbol. And this is going to be moving road lines. It's going to be a movie clip symbol. And my moving road lines are going to be just what you might think. It's going to be a line tool that's yellow. This one I'll be a little bit more specific on. I'm going to use yellow, the thickness I'm already satisfied with. I don't need a fill though. Not that that would factor into using a line tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw one line. And I know it's tough to see, so I'll use my selection tool. I'll just click on a blank area of my stage, and I'll change my stage color to a dark gray. So now it's a little bit easier to see that line. Now I'll use my selection tool, and I'm going to click, control, click, and I'll make a duplicate of it. Now I'll select both of these by click, shift, click, click on it, and then click and hold my mouse, hold down my control key, and I'll make a duplicate of those. Select all four, 
click and hold, hold down the control key. Make a duplicate of those. And let me just go a little bit faster. I'll do zoom out. I'm going to click and drag a rectangle to select them all. Click, hold down the control key. Another duplicate. And do I want to do any more? How about a few more just for old time's sake? There we go. So now I've got these lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these lines and I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click on frame one. I'm going to create a motion tween. On frame one, I'm going to take these lines and just move them to the left. And I'll actually move them a little bit down too so they're kind of centered. And then on the last frame over that second, I'll take these lines. I'm just going to click and drag them to the right so they're in motion now. So now those lines are moving. Okay. Head back over to scene one, create a new layer, and this layer is going to be on top of my background, and this will be my moving lines layer. And on frame one, I'm going to take my moving lines, which are in my library, moving road lines, and I'm just going to drag them right onto here. Use my selection tool and kind of position them in a good spot. It's good enough as any. Control enter to test. And I can see those lines just moving across. Now you can see there's a little bit of gap in there. And they are going pretty quick, so I don't know if that's too fast for the effect to really be cool or not. So I could close out and I could start to make some modifications. And the best way to do that is to double click on that symbol. And now I can focus on that symbol and see how it really looks. On frame one, and let's kind of make this illusion here. I'm going to use my selection tool. On frame one, I'm going to position my lines just like this. So let's see if you can kind of check this out here. So on frame one, here, let me move over a little bit more. There we go. So on frame one, my far right line is just touching the edge of the stage and a line on the left is about two-thirds on. I want to mimic that for the last one. So I'll go to my last frame and I want to position it so that oops, got to get a four-way arrow here. There we go. Same kind of thing. I'm going to position it so that a line is completely on the right side and close to being the same as off on the left. And to slow this down, I'm going to have this animation go a little bit longer. So instead of 24 frames, which is one second for me, I'll move it down to um, 80 frames. I'll go back to scene one. Nothing's really noticeably different here. Press Control Enter. And now the lines are moving on a little bit slower. So that's my sequence to make it look like the car is moving down the road.